okay the next loop is a use ref okay so there is an interview question they have given they are, they did not directly given this task they did not ask directly is the use ref but they are given a task the task is a stopwatch that program okay so if you want to solve such problems we have to go for a use ref first let us understand what is a use ref okay so suppose here whenever we are changing anything in the state variable what will happen automatically component will re-render correct right whenever component re-render uh, whatever the data earlier data all data will go away okay and whenever again freshly it is executing from top to bottom new data will come again okay so but what we want to do is whenever we are writing clear interval or any timeouts so those things we should not remove the earlier object still we want to hold the old object only we don't want to create a new one we want to hold the old one only so such things what we are going to do we can use like a user ref okay another thing is uh, this user ref will return a mutable reference object that means we can change it dynamically okay and whenever component is re-renders it will the value will not change it it still it will have the same value only and if you are updating anything in the state like using the user ref it will not cause the re-render whenever we are updating the c state variable it is reloading the page from top to bottom right but this user ref will not re-trigger the re-render even though you are updating it will not re-trigger from top to bottom it will not re-trigger that is the difference between the use ref and use state if you are using use state such code will call it as a what components uh, controlled components control components and uh, uncontrolled let us see here uh, let me go to compound example okay so there is a okay so let us see here okay so this is an example here we are writing a one state variable okay so inside the state variable we are writing one use ref okay so this user of by default we are giving a null value and we are storing into one reference okay and uh, here there is a method called we are written a start timer and inside the timer we are calling the set interval for every one second this will update the state value whenever state is updated what will happen again it will execute from top to bottom whenever the top to bottom executed this interval object will go away even though you are storing it it will go away we don't want to lose that reference that is the reason we are using like a user ref and user ref dot current what will hold is it will always hold the latest value only okay and whenever we want to stop it we'll call like a clear interval and we'll do like this so let me write this component one and component two is the right let me write this component one to uh demo child so that we can see the output okay so let me write it okay so let me go here and log out demo okay so here there is a timer is zero is there if i want to start okay so it will keep it will keep on increment one two three four something like this and if you are stopping it will stop there we don't want to see reset to zero we want to stop there only and if you want to reset it will go zero and without this user reference variable if you are trying to do this task and that will not be possible because whenever it is a re-render will happen the old set interval object will be destroyed or we will not hold that value if you want to hold any set interval set clear interval or set timeout those th we have to do it using the user reference only and second there is a controlled way uncontrolled way is there right whenever we have we are doing for any login form or registration form let me open my registration form okay uh, see here so what is the variable we are writing a uh, user ref okay so if you want to get any user ref uh, i want to get the value of the input box so how, how will i link it uh, i'll go to my uh, input box i will add like a ref is equal to that variable name so whatever the variable name i am writing in the top that is linking with my input box whenever i want to get that value so what is the uh, how will i get it uh, user reference dot current dot value okay so here there is no re-triggering the ui whatever you are changing still you will change it only okay and we can get that value from the dom directly using the use reference use reference dot current data value so let us if you want to go here login 
and registration. So where is that registration page? Something, okay. So there is some, uh, already we have that registration component we can directly get like this. Sir. Uh, user reference dot current dot value so whenever you are writing any forms using the user reference uh, such components will call it as a controller and controller uncontrolled because here the state is managing by the dom not by the react component such components we are calling as a uncontrolled so if somebody asking uh, what is uncontrolled component uh, indirectly you can say user ref only okay so whenever you want to store like uh, user ref will allow us to what it will do, it will persist the value between the renders. That means even though your component re-renders the value, like based on the state, still it will hold the previous value. It will not, uh, the value will not be lost. Okay. 